Hello sunshine, this is Joy from Michigan in the United States and today I'm going to do an open cup pour. I think that's what it's called. I'm so bad about my names guys. I'm using an MDF round, actually it's a plywood round. It's very thin, very thin. So it may warp. So I'm considering this to be an experiment and if this doesn't work, I'm kind of tempted. They came three in a package. So I'm tempted to glue two together and see if doubling the thickness will allow it to withstand a, a lot of paint. So we'll see. It's also a very hot and humid day here in Michigan today. So I will not leave this out in my art room. There's no AC out here. Um, I will take it into my home where we have a little more control over the humidity and temp. So there's that's a tip for y'all. Um, I would not leave it out in this to dry. I think it would dry too quickly and it might crack. I have not had a painting crack yet, but I know that's a common problem. So I just do a puddle black down just for this to kind of move around. I'm going to add a little line around the outside of the cup because I want the paint that I put in the cup to flow underneath that. So I have just a few colors today. The first one is this turquoise blue and it has silicone and I think I, I tried to do two drops and I think I got four. So I did find one little trick you can do, if you can't remember, if you put silicone, and I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but if you can you see those little divots on the stick? That's from silicone. So if you just take a stick and you stir your paint and then scrape it on the side, when you flip it over, if there are any little divots like that, you've got silicone in there. So I, um, I did mark this cup and this was a color I had mixed up for quite a while. So I really don't know what all is in it. I think it's just turquoise blue. It does not look like it has a metallic in it, but then I'm not sure why it's in a cup and not my squeeze bottle. <laughs> so I apologize if it's not turquoise blue. And then I have this custom pink. It's got silicone in it. See these little drops over here? That's exactly what I'm wanting. I don't really want my cup to move a whole lot. And then this color that I'm going to add next is Purple Cow. And you can see the divots on my stick. I did add one little drop of silicone. That's a lot for that little bit of paint. So this may be Cell City. We'll see. So I'm going to add some purple. Purple Cow from Americana Deco Art. Americana. And then this is, I just took all my little bits of leftover metallics from my previous video and put it all into one bottle. So it's Reeves brand copper, gold, and bronze all mixed together. I figured why not? And my cup is moving a little, but I don't know that I want it to necessarily go off center. I'm gonna add a little black. This is probably more paint than I need. I struggle with a floating cup and I love the the look of it and I just struggle to get it right. So I decided it was time to to try that and see if we can't come up with something pretty. And I'm trying to put this paint in at a pretty fast pace because I do want it to kind of mix together. I really feel like we have enough paint. So I'm going to start Spinning this around very slowly. I always feel like I rush with this type. And I don't want to do that. So there are some cells popping up. Okay. All right. So now comes the part that I feel like I struggle the most with, and that is tilting it and keeping a pretty design. On the wood, it does move a little bit slower because the wood is really wanting to just absorb that paint. So I'm just going to take my time. Especially the edges of plywood, it will really, really absorb that paint. So once this is done, what I would like to do with it is either make a clock or just a wall hanging with some resin. I don't know if plywood will hold up to resin. So 
All right, I feel like we've got a lot of black over here, so I think I'm gonna stretch this just a bit. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. Spread that black paint all over my fingers. Okay, so I'm gonna add some heat to this. It looks kind of blobby and boring. Um, what I might do after I run my heat through it is add a line with the edge of my cup. So you just kind of roll it through. We'll see though, I'm gonna do the heat first. Wow, look at those cells pop up. All right, guys, it won't stay there, but does anybody see the little elephant over here? There's its little trunk and eye and ear. It's so cute. All right, I don't like all these blobs here, so I am going to try to run my cup through it. Oh, and I was gonna add orange, and I forgot. That's okay, I think this is pretty as is. I kinda wanna keep that little elephant, but I don't know. He's gone. Bye-bye, sweet elephant. All right, I'm starting to see a butterfly. So I wanna be careful how I tip. I like it on some of these. I like it if I feel like I can identify something. Um, otherwise, I feel like, to me, it just looks like a bunch of blobs. And that just doesn't make me happy. So I'm not sure about this one, guys. Also, if you are someone who's on my channel regularly, I apologize. I have had a few days of just being down and struggling to get in my art room. So it's been longer than it should be since I posted. But hopefully you were having a fun weekend and didn't really notice. Of course, Monday was a holiday here. Tuesday was back to reality and I don't know, I just wasn't happy with that. I was not happy to be back to reality. I don't know. I don't know what to think of this, guys. And I do feel like my board is already warping, so it may not matter. What I want to do as far as the design element on this because it may just run right off, which is a bummer, but there's not a lot I can do um, about that. It's just a thin piece of wood and I should have paid more attention when I ordered them. Um, but like I said, I can try uh, gluing two together or I can try uh, brush painting on these instead of doing a poured painting so it's less paint all at once. So I'm going to hit this with some heat again. I'm not loving what I have. not happy. <sighs> I'm surprised that we didn't get more cells and I'm almost tempted to swipe over this. If you watch my channel very often, you know I really enjoy a swipe. So I, the, the amount of turquoise with no cells is surprising to me. All those cells popping up now. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna be crazy. I'm gonna try a swipe, guys. Nothing ever goes as planned in my house. I'm gonna swipe with pink because the turquoise has taken over. Or maybe I should have swiped with orange. All right. I'm going to use. Let me grab my other swipe tool. So I just use laminate sheets sealed on themselves. That's what I swipe with. Bring that over the 
touch a little. Okay. And like I said, the board is warping, so this may or may not work. Glad to see that metallic coming through there. It's pretty. Man, I really moved that out of frame. Sorry, guys. All right. You guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I'm going to swipe with orange on the other side. But I want to add a little silicone. Well, it's going to be a lot of silicone for the amount of paint I have, but... Just one drop. All right, let me stir that in. There are some people that try not to stir it, and I think you get bigger cells that way. I kind of like the little cells, so I'm okay with kind of stirring it quite a bit. All right, let's see what this does. Since this was just in my mind an experiment, it's easier for me to, to change up in the middle or to try something different and just see what happens. Ooh, that's got some wet paint on it for sure. There. All right. Here goes nothing. I really need to clean this so I can see through it a little bit better. I do have a sponge that I use in the art room. It's my art room only sponge, and that's how I clean my swipers. They, they scrub it off really well. Well, the orange definitely brightened it up a bit. I'm not sure if I like it better than the pink, but... It's bright. Okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness, my table is a mess. All right, let's put some heat on that again. orange side and I think that's because I had a lot of silicone for that amount of paint. Um, this side is kind of boring to me and I don't like the dividing line so I will probably come back and balloon that. I am going to let this one dry just because I want to know can I pour on these? Is that is that going to work? Um, I'm really surprised that I didn't have more cells pop up and it's very interesting my cells that I do have are solid colors. They're not what I usually get where I have cells in cells. Let me see if I can find an example. So this painting, especially down here, it's easier to see on the screen. We've got like a white outline and then blue or blue and then pink. And here's one that's got, you know, all sorts of colors. That's what I'm used to seeing where it's multiple cell colors within one painting so it's a little odd to me that i'm just getting single color cells well here's here's one with more than one but the majority of them are just one color and i'm gonna guess that that is because i did not let my paint sit with the silicone in it overnight which i typically do but with my Last several days feeling so glum, I did not even get out here to mix paint, let alone to create anything. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that's the reason. So I'm going to stop this here. I will come back. Probably I won't wait very long, maybe 20 minutes. It's really, really hot out here. So this paint may dry very quickly. Plus it's on wood, which dries very quickly anyways. So 
I will come back out and add some balloon embellishments more than likely. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't already subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button. If you are one of my one of my friends who has, thank you so much. I appreciate you. It means the world to me that you guys watch my art creation videos and give me some feedback and you know give me a thumbs up or a comment. That's all I ever ask of you. I'm not asking for any cost from you at all. No, no tip jars, no, no ads to watch at this point. It's just check me out. Let me know what you think. Let me know what I should do differently. I would love to hear from you. So I will, I will be back probably in about 20 minutes and do some balloon work. All right, friends, back with you. I'm going to try to give you a little bit of a better angle for the balloon work today and see if this helps at all. So because I'm next to a window, you're going to get a little bit of a reflection, especially over here. Those divots, if I can block some of the light, those are all where there's cells. That's silicone. So it does create a dimple in your paint, which a lot of people don't like. Um, there are other ways to get cells without silicone, but I've not experimented with that. So I always use silicone at this point. That may change over time. But I'm going to attempt, I'm trying to look and see. It doesn't look super dry, but I don't want to wait too long. So... Let's just see what we got. And I'm just looking to break up this center line a bit. There's got to be more than just, I kind of like the black better than the overwhelming pink and orange. So I apologize, my hand is blocking more than I thought it would. Here's what I'm going to do, guys. We're going to try to move the camera. Since I'm right-handed, and maybe you won't have the glare either. All right, there we go. Let's try that. Okay. Let me know if you think this is a better view or not. I don't know. From up above, all you see is my hand, so I thought maybe this would be a little better. I'm still not really loving this piece, but... Ooh, yuck. That's never a good sign when you lift up the balloon and say, ooh, yuck. Oh goodness, there just aren't a lot of colors under there. So I'm gonna have to live with it. That one's better. And it doesn't look like it's falling back in on itself, so the paint is dry enough. Oh goodness, there we go, that's better. Um, paint's dry enough, I just, it's not creating the effect I would hope for. And I don't know, should I go more than just the middle line or not. I'm thinking maybe just a couple. I don't want to overpower it. I almost feel like it would be interesting, not maybe not with silicone on the canvas, but it could be interesting to do an entire painting where you put the paint down and then just balloon kiss the whole thing. That'd be a lot of work. <gasps> okay, so this is a little thin, which makes it hard to press down. <laughs> oh goodness, the things you learn. All right, let's see. I think that that's good. One more right there. Yeah, my flowers are just coming up all black. So, not the most exciting painting I've ever done. Certainly not my favorite, but I'm gonna let it dry and I will let you guys know how it dries. Um, it will not be in this video because I need to get this posted today so that I have something on my channel. Um, but I will take you in for a close up and then in a future video, I will tell you guys how this dried and if it worked or not. It may need um, 
It may need to have two glued together or just by a thicker round. I'm not sure. So, all right, guys, thanks so much. I will see you on the next one.